amazing MCs, including Redman, Black Thought, Cool G Rap, Guru, Charlie Tuna, Corrupt, Planet Asia, and now, who's it going to be? Is it going to be Crooked Eye, Method Man, Mac Miller, or Aesop Rock? The choice is up to you. Stick around for the end of the show and make sure to vote on every option. First thing we got, guys, is... Where are we here? Mac Miller, fourth seed versus Aesop Rock, second seed. Let's get into Willie Dynamite by Mac Miller right now. You're a hard man to reach, Willie Dynamite. I want to rap. <clears throat> Go right ahead. Girls ask me for that Willie D, that's how I know they feeling me It's simple, see the pimp and be what got these bitches clipped to me You may be at the game, I guarantee you we in different seats I seen you in the nosebleeds, but where I'm at, that isn't cheap In the van, in the jeep, make a million in a week Taking off her clothes before I begin to speak like Gimme Chicks Been to London, been to France, go to if you get the chance Been to Amsterdam, hit the club, hell no I didn't dance Rolled around a little, smoked the weed, seen the red lights Ain't fucking prostitute, but the head nice Get right, from here on to the next life, relax and sip that red stripe Way I spend this money You would think I had an ex-wife Bitches love the lead pipe The bird word The can't rice New place every day What I would give To just have a ten nights Yeah right About to drop an album Hope you blow your mind Trying to reach a level Where no music gets put over mine Uh The girls ask me For that Willie D Uh The girls ask me For that Willie D What does it mean To keep your pimp hands strong Live it up Cause you don't live that long Or am I wrong Uh The girls ask me For that Willie D Uh the girls ask me for that Willie D. What does it mean to keep your pimp hands strong? Live it up, cause you don't live that long. Or am I wrong? It's young Macintosh, tell you about that sabotage Traveling through Germany, word of David Hasselhoff Back up off, we kill him softly, bitches like to fuck him doggy Probably off Somali, got me turning into polygons On and on, DJs putting on my song People say I talk too long, killing every single track The God is on, they cheering with they pom-poms Buying what I got on, straight gold Find me fucking silver with my long john Tom Tom, direct me to that money please Square sponge, fucking dumb, yeah your grades is under C And I know in God we trust, but how much do they trust in me? Enough to be a fucking beast on beats, yeah Shit is so disgustingly amazing <laughs> Bitches out the playpen, you fuck your hand Asking how much money can I fit into this rubber band Hustle in, throw your ass right inside a rubbish can Excuse my French, that's just how I talk if I was Russell Brand Know that I'm the fucking man, play my shit for three days All I make is hits, call me T-Pain Sicker than if she gave me AIDS Plus some t just on my kind of try to out shit on eBay Talk to little shit, man, probably thought he dissed me Bitch, please, I just ate out Monica Lewinsky Yeah, I taught her about some slaughter Had her crying about her father Then I busted in her face While she told me it's an honor Bob O'Connor, we just call it ticket Finger licking on my chicken wow. Got away with words, words, That's words That's how you words, do a wiener bar <laughs> That was the ultimate wiener bar the paper, Then put your head inside the water so Enjoy the flavor <laughs> Yeah, bitch, no, Jerm, don't cut me off, man Fuck you Uh, the girls ask me for that Willie D. Uh, the girls ask me for that Willie D. What does it mean to keep your pimp hands strong? Live it up, cause you don't live that long. Or am I wrong? Uh, the girls ask me for that Willie D. Uh, the girls ask me for that Willie D. What does it mean to keep your pimp hands strong? Live it up, cause you don't live that long. Or am I wrong? Yeah, this doesn't do it for me. <laughs> don't know what it is. Just uh, <coughs> I think it's I think it's fun and it's cute or whatever, but it's not like impactful. It's cute. It's cute. It's he's, cute. Oh, he's a cute rapper. Uh, yeah, yeah. It just doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, I got nothing. I got no feelings. No, no hate. No love. Nothing. I mean, rest in peace. It's sad that you're gone. Of course, I'd never shit on the dead. But, uh, yeah, sorry, man. Your music just doesn't do it for me. I'm going to give that a uh, seven. Uh, Ignacio, what are you saying? I, okay, so Mac, I, I like Mac Miller because of, of his style. I am I just appreciate his delivery, his swag, like how he does his thing. Now, I know this the, the content of this song is, you know, him flying around the world, give, you know, giving off his really deep. I get it. You know what I mean? I, I, I understand. But, you know, um, 
I, I like Mac Miller all in all, just being said. I just I still think he's a pretty dope. <coughs> uh, I think he is one of those like A minus B plus tier type type rappers. Like he could have been in that upper echelon of yeah. rappers um, if he had some time and his personal things weren't where they were and he was able to concentrate on his craft mm-hmm. a little more. Um, but but all in all, drugs, I think drugs they give this, uh, part of them, part of it. There's okay. mental health things and, and drugs and things like that. But mm-hmm. um, rest in peace, Mac Miller. I'm still gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it an eight. Eight, Chuck. What are you saying? Yeah. Um, I mean the the beat was cool. Like I really dig the kind of just you know smooth jazzy vibe. Um, that was cool. Um, but uh, I mean other than that, it, just, it doesn't really do it for me. Um, it was a it was a cool beat, but and the delivery was nice, but um, you know, the rest of it just doesn't really do it for me, like lyrically wise and lyrical content. With them. Eh. so um, you know, I really did like the beat and the style there, though. So um, you know, I can give it the respectable seven for that. But at the track as a whole, you know, like I don't know, it would be it would be cool to listen to, but like that's it. Pastor, what he said? Yeah, I really enjoyed the beat. Um, I thought his bars were okay. Um, yeah, it was fun. You know, uh, uh, it's just joking around. You know. Um, yeah, yeah. Me- what you did, what you did a lot of, right? Just kind of that was kind of his thing. Yeah. Good time, smoking dope, relaxing, hang with your buddies at the beach. And, fun and- rhymes, funny stuff. And the beat kind of corresponded to that. I thought it was kind of like a, a you know, just a, a whimsical kind of jazzy beat. Uh, for me, it's a it's a eight point four. Eight point four LP. Sorry, I caught the tail end of it, so I didn't get enough of it to vote or critique it oh, properly. Okay. I apologize, 60, y'all. Sixty-seven percent wanted on the playlist. So on can, the playlist, can the twenty-year-old goes... tube TV in your background vote? <laughs> <laughs> for sure. What's that you say? Yeah. Next one that we got, guys, is from Aesop Rock, Hammer. Drums on the Wheel. This has contention. This is Major Cigar. Do you read me, Gamma? Gamma Ray, damn it, come in! Gamma Ray, please respond. Well, his brains are fried. Hang it up, mission's over. Do you read me? Do I need to reach through the TV? Do I need to reach through the Ouija? Houston and Meg, I'm too Danny. I'm too uneasy. I'm not a face and I'm orange tang and I'm powdered eggs and my radio has been down for days to just stand around and sound out the phrase to go do you read me. Shook up through the beanie. I'll look for the moon graffiti. Deep end of some hellhole. Come detect this tempo. I've been beating back in these headphones. Beating back a profound fear. Farewell to my breadcrumbs. Is anybody even out there? I'm like out there in that true tweeting, that new ether, that do you read me? You don't read me. I'm barely a thing. Staring off too scared to blink. I might shrink some and I shrink more. Shrink past this pink dwarf. No sign of my pole star, but up, up here it don't mean north. Deep space and no G force. Some more tumble out to some death bell. Some bleep bleep robot voice. Some red light. Some send help. Street need some ET to come deep fry and old freak grease to rehome. Reach out, reap what he sow. Jesus, do you read me? We don't. Do you read me, Gabriel? And I play drums on a wheel with a feeling out of touch or outgunned in the field. Drums on a wheel. Bomb sights and blackouts and fog lights and gas clouds. Jockey through vacuums. None of our flaps down, it's shocking. Shot off one small part of some squadron that ain't once chosen to abort shit that we've honed in on our problem. Non stop until he stopped to see what kind of quadrant he got lost in. Do you read me that option? And y'all's options are exhausted. Have been dropped off in this mosh pit instead of locked in one orbit. Knock, knock, pull back of this cockpit is my coffin. Boss levels, I'm doomed to repeat. No dance call, do you read me? It evolves beyond the under mantra. Once none ping in my transponder, once what become me? Y'all plan to conjure, been handed back to y'all unresponsive. Ten hut and I'm in sync. Phone home, but just ring a ring. Asteroids that leave marks and black holes that eat stars. Green cheese and GPS, be decked with detours. Fuel gauge around East Street, my beacons are all blinked out. I might slink up in a junk heap, you can't read and or pin down.
Gamma Ray, come in! And I play drums on the wheel with a feeling out of touch or outgunned in the field. Drums on the wheel. And I play drums on the wheel with a feeling out of touch or outgunned in the field. Drums on the wheel. You know, I I happened to be there was a bit of a cartoon video that went along with that song, and it was about his sp- the the guy spitting bars with a was a space captain. All this weird shit was going on on the spaceship. The only way I could somehow follow his bars in any way is because of the cartoon. Like that shit is fucking out there, bro. I don't know if he has like some kind of like really capable autism or or what's going on but there's something going on with his brain to <laughs> uh, to operate like that like that is that is not human like that is not normal he is a weird dude he's a very weird dude but because of that he's lyrically untouchable no one can fuck with Aesop Rock no one can even begin to start fucking with him not even close um i i think he's going to win tonight uh, I think that was a perfect exposition of how outlandish he can be so simply, like so effortlessly be mentally undecipherable. You know, like every word is every word is like a like a what are those? Remember that? Remember the damn brown books? Maybe like Da Vinci Code or something where they had those puzzles that were all those numbers you had to line up. What was yeah. that called again? I couldn't tell you, but I know what you're talking a cri- about. A cryptex or something? A cri- cryptex or something? It's like every one of his songs is that. Like you have to listen to every single bar, and you have to you have to create your own story. He's not doing it for you. You he literally gives you the. It's like a it's like a Mad Lib. It's like he gives you verbs and adjectives, and you have to build your own story around. It's like you create your own. If you're if you're creative enough, creative enough to roll on his level, he will create you imagery to f- perform a movie inside your brain. Every track that he does, however, you have to be creativity enlightened to even fathom comprehending anything that he says which makes it very very deep and very very uh yeah it's it's a good rabbit hole i'm gonna give it an 8.8 what do you say ignacio i i still think i like the first round aesop track a, a little bit better um but this was dope and out of the two i think aesop does get get the nod um this Oddly enough, though, like this still wasn't unfollowable like some of his other stuff that you know is out there for sure. So, no, another good pick, Presto, for as far as Aesop and and his his catalog. This was dope. Um, I'm gonna give it a solid eight. Solid eight, Chuck. What he said. So I think I actually followed this, um, and uh, it made sense to me. Um, the uh, it was. Uh, kind of right off the bat it kind of conveyed the idea of like being of uh of, of being just kind of like lost in space literally you know and uh the um and i think the some of the scattered chaos um kind of goes with some of the kind of mind games that you kind of fall into if you're like you know isolated all alone and you know for like who knows how long and like you kind of drive yourself crazy, you know, in the solitude and while still trying to like figure shit out. And, uh, the, um, all of that kind of made sense to me in that context. And, uh, so yeah, I got it. Um, uh, it was an interesting concept, but, um, mm-hmm. I actually got it. So, um, the, and I nice. think that was the point of this. Um, so, do you think it could be like like mental illness, suffering with mental illness, like a schizophrenia, untreated, that kind of no. thing? No, no. I think I think it's it's literally lost uh, in space. In space, so, like actual um, space. Yeah. So the um, as it was closing out, I was looking up this track. I was like, wait, I want to see if that's what this actually was. And apparently, this was a track that he did for a video game um, that was apparently I don't know um, that. Uh, that was the specific context of it. So, cool. It was Pro- yeah. Um, it was cool. Yeah. So I give it a. I give it a. I'm gonna say eight and a half. It was it was a cool track. Eight and a half. Press what he said. 
Yeah, just trying to pick uh, the most digestible ASAP. I know he's not the most digestible. So, <laughs> well, um, yeah, um, this... <laughs> as far as ASAP tracks goes, it kind of is. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, this track, um, it, it, and it's really like it's outer space you know what i mean like i guess you could take it as a euphemism for being lonely or or kind of disconnecting right. but but yeah to me it's it's outer space um the references it's just, for me just the the way he places the rhymes where he places the rhymes it just sounds yeah in, well yeah part does, different parts of words different syllables it's right? like sometimes it's it sounds really good and sometimes it sounds a bit off so it makes it even more interesting i feel like mf mm. doom maybe mf doom was one of his major uh influences because i feel like mf doom does something mm. similar but it's like not exactly the same you know right, right, right. uh yeah for me this is uh 8.75 love it lp I thought it was excellent. Um, this, this is everything I like about hip hop. So this ticked all the boxes for me. I definitely want to hear this again. You know, just the the lyricism. He just, you know, you're on a, a, a portal. You know, you're uh, through a wormhole journey here. Yeah, I was I was able to follow this one. I had to focus though. Um, I like the production on it. This is second to only master thesis for me tonight. So this is a nine point yeah. eight. Ninety percent say that's Aesop. So Aesop is going to the final vote. The final vote will be between Aesop and whoever it wins between Crooked Eye and Method Man. Let's get into the final pairing of the night. King Crooked, a.k.a. Crooked Eye, Shea Cotton versus Method Man. It is me. Let's do Crooked Eye first. Let's do it. 